the goal of me doing the YouTube podcast, because we did video production since 2014, and it was just where we put our reviews up, and people wanted more content. They wanted weekly content. They wanted bi-weekly. They wanted five times, seven times, eight times a day. I mean, they just, it's a bottomless bucket you keep pouring water into, you know. And, I mean, we've published close to 700 videos on this channel. It's exhausting. And and I can't believe people want to listen to what I have to say about this stuff. It's crazy. So, anyways. Um, the biggest thing for me, the biggest, number one goal that I had personally was to equip you with the intellectual tools to be self-sufficient. That was the biggest thing for me when it came to doing the Watercraft Journal videos was I wanted to make sure that you guys had everything in your arsenal to properly go about and having the most fun on the water for the longest period of time with the least amount of trouble. That was really it. And I think that's a noble goal. All right. I'm not trying to entertain you. I am not a clown falling off of roofs or crashing cars into things or jumping trucks into ditches like so many of these big channels that have 5 million subscribers and bring in a million and a quarter in Google ads. All right. I'm sitting in my home office talking about wear rings in jet pumps and reading your owner's manual properly. And I mean, pretty boring stuff. Let's, let's be real straight here. So all of that is to say that my intent was to appeal to the thinking man and woman who wants to preserve their very expensive purchase and keep it operating at peak performance for as long as possible. That's it. That's it. All right. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'd like you to buy our shirts. I'd like you to buy our decals and maybe my fuel extension kit. You know, that'd be great. Do I beat you over the head with this stuff? No. Do we cut to ads about my shirts and hoodies? No. You know, for good questions that get me on a roll, I'll give you stickers. Okay. You know, I'm not real heavy handed here. Um, I'm not trying to sell you a service. I'm not trying to sell you a product. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to inform you. That's really it. And what hurts me, like, like hurts my soul is when people unknowingly, I don't want to say ignorantly because that sounds mean, but it literally means to be ignorant, but unknowingly just step in it. I mean, absolutely just big messy boot step in it when it could have been averted. All right. No one wants to be made fun of. No one wants to be told they're an idiot. No one wants to be told or, or mocked publicly. No one wants this. Okay. That's why I, I do not enjoy when I was in my twenties, the show to watch was jackass. All right. And then punked. I hated those shows because I would always just white knuckle knowing that someone's being made fun of and someone ends up looking like a horse's ass. And I hated that for them. I hated it. And then 10 years later, you had American Idol. And the first week or two weeks was every untalented buffoon who gets up there and tries to sing Mariah Carey songs way off key. And it's just a clip show of people looking stupid. I can't take that. I, I can't. I don't enjoy it. Um, what was the Ben Stiller movie? Uh, Meet the Parents. Oh, I can't. I can't take that. 
It's not funny for me. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable humor is not funny for me. Um, Tom Green, the Tom Green show. This is dating myself way back in the nineties. Um, I can't, I can't take it. I just can't. So I say all this because I see people who go on to Facebook and jump into Facebook groups and they just, they just step in it. They absolutely step in it. And I, th- I think a lot of time, a lot of times, they don't know any better. They don't know any better. And so they go in there and they go, what oil should I run? And everyone's like, oh, you should run Vaseline. You should run canola oil. You should run, you know, used two-stroke oil. Ah, hey, stupid. And they all make fun of them. And the guy leaves the group. He's like, you guys are all jerks. I don't know why you're so mean to me. And the reality is, is that all of this could have been averted. All of this could have been averted. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.